What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I know it's been a little while since I've done a video, but um, we're going to make a different type of video again today. We're going to do another uh, snow blowing and shoveling video. So um, we've got tons of snow here at the house. It's amazing. It's kind of a calm. It's kind of cleared for a little bit, but um, as you can see, walk down this pathway. <laughs> There's a lot of snow right here. It's amazing. And then we got mm, maybe four or five of new, of fresh snow that we got. So, um, I'm gonna do, we're gonna get, um, we got a cl car cleared off and then we're gonna go do the pathways and stuff. And then uh, there's probably gonna be some shoveling and stuff. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed the video and we'll get right into it. Now it is worth noting before we start, if you watched last year's video, which was one video, we had a um, a craftsman right there buried in snow. Well, we got an errands this year, and um, this is the Deluxe 27. <clears throat> it's a 2011 model, and um, it's been a great snowblower, and we've only used it six or seven times now, but times are going up as it's snowing more so um you got this heavy duty chute right here you got all steel construction which is really nice and the intake height from the ground up to the auger up to the intake is a lot bigger um and then 27 inches wide so uh we'll get right into it and start snow blowing <laughs> All right, so we got this whole uh, parking spot cleaned out, and then this one cleaned out, and then along with this pathway too, we got that cleaned out. I'm gonna probably wait to do the driveway, but quick note on the snowblower. This runs so good, um, and it is a wheeled one. It's got wheels, um, but there are plenty Got plenty of grip, super knobby and stuff. If you lower the tire pressure a little bit, you get more grip out of these. We have a really steep driveway actually, but this thing runs very good. Um, and uh, everything's built so well, the metal chute and 
everything's metal except for you know the plastic choke knob and all the other stuff um <clears throat> and this is a let's see it's a Briggs and Stratton engine so that was before they switched to the new AX engines which I don't know where those are made but um this is a great engine it's like a 2011 model I think and so we bought it used and um it had barely been used so that's why it still looks brand new I mean this is all from just a little bit of use all this but the metal um uh, the metal chute is very nice and then this adjustment knob's great and then um, yeah everything else up about it is super well laid out you got gears right here um, you got auger and then you got your drive and your gears so it, it's super um, easy to run um, and then there's let's see you got a 120 volt electric starter I used that once that worked good gas on and off the um, fuel tank and then the idle speed whatever you want that set to um, but yeah because this doesn't have because this is like the an older model and it's got the Briggs and Stratton it runs so good because it doesn't have all that reduced emissions um, engine management technology in there um, the muffler, like, you can look at it, it's not baffled at, I mean, I don't know, but, like, it's super, um, super open from, you know, chainsaws, you look at chainsaws and those mufflers are super constricted, but, runs great, super happy on it, and we're gonna probably wait to do the driveway, but, um, yep. Alright, it's a new day, <laughs> new week I should say, this is past for a week or so from last week's storm, and we've got, man, I don't know, I haven't measured it yet, but it's probably six, six to eight inches of snow everywhere, and I've been keeping up shoveling and stuff, but we're gonna fire up the snowblower again and do the whole thing and do the driveway. I think it's a good time to do that, so we'll get busy.